Alright, what's going on guys? This is just going to be a quick video on how to set up Trafic, which is just a reverse proxy. Um, so, some prerequisites is you're going to want to complete this entire quick start guide, uh, including the adding Let's Encrypt certificates. Uh, and then you can do these two if you, if you want to. I'm going to show you how to do that part, but I'm not going to be showing you how to um, add uh, certificates. And I'm also not going to show you how to create or buy your domain. I will show you my C names, so you kind of understand how the um, how the Cloudflare process works. But I'm actually just going to um, I'm going to link a video in the description that I want you guys to check out for for that part of things because I'm not going to show you guys how to set all that crap up. So. Um, before you watch this video, you should already have a domain, and it should be linked to Cloudflare if you're going to be um, if you're going to be matching this video exactly. Anyway, you don't have to use Cloudflare, but that's what I'm going to be using. And then you also have to get done with the Quick Start Guide. After you get done with that, I come here, and then um, I go to System Settings General, and then click on Settings here. And then I changed the web interface to 81, and then the web HTTPS to 444. As you can see, I'm in my GUI on port 81 right now. And the reason that we do that is because we're going to give traffic uh, port 81, or port 80 and port 443 to um, set up a reverse proxy. Okay. on that and then this is incredibly easy you don't have to do any of this stuff um, you also will not have to change anything here besides uh, let me see right here since I said we're gonna be using port 80 we're gonna delete that so it's just port 80 and this nine right here so 480 port 443 that's why we freed up those other two ports um, for a web GUI if you do not do that and you set up traffic and your scale is on port 80 they're both on port 80 you will not be able to access your scale like as soon as traffic launches it's gonna mess everything up trust me do not do that the next um, everything else is pretty much just, uh, you don't really have to change anything. I always just give my applications a little bit more horsepower. You can do whatever you want. It does not matter. And then we're not going to mess with any of that. Or that. Or that. And then we'll go ahead and click submit. After spinning up our application, you can see that it launched. I'm still just using my old version just because... I have some Authalia stuff in there that you'll see um, in the other video that I already have up on how to set that up. So I didn't want to redo all that. But then you go ahead and open up an application. In this case, I'm going to be uh, using LiDAR. That's the uh, application that I want to expose on the outside of my net. So I'm going to come down to, where is it? Uh, ingress. Enable Ingress. Configure Host. Add. And I just expand all of these. And then for your host name, that's going to be whatever you want this to be, plus your domain. So whatever subdomain, I usually just go with the application's name, unless it's too long. Uh, we'll just use my server. So I'll just go ahead and copy, paste that down here. Um, because these both can be sharing the same exact name and then uh, click on cert here this is a cert that you created with the quick start guide and then that's it you can go ahead and launch this application now so after enabling ingress on our application that we want to start up um, we're gonna go ahead and create a CNAME you can see that I already have a bunch of my own C names here 
for all of my just different type of uh, applications and stuff like that that I have running. So I already have one for LiDAR, but we'll pretend that I don't just so I can show you guys a C name. Click on here. LiDAR and then my server.com and then another thing that I had to enable was uh, I had to come to SSL TLS overview and then I enabled this to full uh, otherwise I was having issues I believe it defaults to flexible and I was having issues with that so if you're having any sort of problems or anything like that, you can go ahead and try out full, see if that works out for you. And then I have this enabled. And then we'll go ahead and go to Edge Certificates. Once you're in Edge Certificates, I go ahead and enable Always Use HTTPS. The final thing that you're going to want to do is uh, and port forward on your router. I'm using a Ubiquity router, so I um, I go to Advanced Features, and then Advanced ga Gateway Settings, and then I create a port forward from anywhere to port 443, destination port slash IP, my IP of my server is right here, and then it goes into port 443, and then I have the exact same setting but for traffic port 80 right here. All right, now that that's all done, we have our C names, port forwards, um, our domain, everything's good to go, our cert, everything. Go ahead and click on portal. And you can see it brought me to my domain and it brought me to my, uh, to my LiDAR.